Oceans by Lie Detector. Can you unravel the riddles of the watery depths and make a big splash with your oceans of knowledge? The oceans are a mysterious world, hidden from view. We are more familiar with the surface of the moon than we are with the deepest parts of our seas. And yet, we're surrounded by them. Almost three quarters of our planet is covered in seawater. So it's about time you got beneath the surface. So are you ready to take the plunge? Swim your way through these fun fact or fib questions and see if you can fish out the right answers. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. Fish can breathe only when they are underwater. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib? It's a fib. Did you get it right? Mudskippers are clever fish that can breathe both in and out of the water. When they leave the water to search for food in the mud of a mangrove forest, they keep a frothy mixture of air and water in their gills. They take in oxygen from the mixture, which keeps their bodies going perfectly. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. Some fish move faster than speedboats. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib? It's a fact. Did you get it right? Most speedboats zip across the surface of the sea at up to 100 kilometers per hour. But that's nothing compared to a sprinting black marlin, one of the world's fastest fish, which can move at speeds of up to 130 kilometers per hour. Don't bet on this seahorse. With a top speed of 1.5 metres per hour, the dwarf seahorse is probably the slowest fish in the seas. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. The smallest turtles are called leatherbacks. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib? It's a fib. Did you get it right? Were you fooled? At two metres long and weighing in at a whopping 650 kilograms, the leatherback is actually the largest living turtle on planet Earth. Bigger than most adult humans. These gentle giants are named after their flexible leather-like shells. Creatures of habit. When it's time to build a nest and lay their eggs, most female sea turtles return to the same beach where they themselves hatched. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. Coral reefs are home to up to a quarter of all ocean life. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib? It's a fact. Did you get it right? Coral reefs are often called the rainforests of the sea because, like tropical forests on land, they are home to an incredible number of the Earth's plants and animals. For example, more than 4,000 different types of fish live on coral reefs. Super Sleuth, the world's largest coral reef, is the Great Barrier Reef off the northeast coast of Australia. It stretches for more than 2,300 kilometers and can be seen by astronauts in orbit around the Earth. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. The pilot fish shares its dinner with a shark. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib? It's a fact. Did you get it right? Shark has no need for toothpicks. 
the tiny pilot fish has come to eat the parasites from the shark's teeth and mouth. As payment for this cleanup job, the pilot fish is safe from other sea creatures because no one else dares to get this close. Super Sleuth. This clownfish removes parasites from a giant sea anemone. In return, the stinging anemone keeps the fish safe from hungry attackers. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. All sharks live in oceans. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib? It's a fib. Did you get it right? Sharks do live in every ocean in the world, but they can also swim in rivers and lakes. They are able to survive in fresh, non-salty water by weeing a lot. This helps them to keep the right amount of salt in their bodies so that they can spend time in the fresh water. Super Sleuth the spear-toothed shark swims through freshwater rivers in northern Australia, but it makes trips to the ocean too. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. Grey whales travel 10,000 kilometres to have their babies. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib? It's a fact! Did you get it right? Every year, grey whales leave their feeding areas in the Arctic and head south to warmer waters in Mexico, but not for a holiday. They go there to have their babies. Once they've returned to the north, some grey whales have completed a journey of up to 20,000 kilometres. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. Lizards stay away from salty seawater. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib? It's a fib. Did you get it right? Marine iguanas live along the rocky, choppy coastlines of the Galapagos Islands in the Pacific Ocean. They look like monsters, but in fact, they are gentle lizards that only eat seaweed. They don't live in the sea, but the strongest and biggest of them can dive down and nibble the seaweed from rocks deeper down in the water. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. Zooplankton have the biggest eyes on the planet. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib. It's a fib. Did you get it right? Zooplankton are the smallest animals in the ocean. Their whole bodies measuring about five millimeters. That's smaller than the eraser on the end of a pencil. The giant squid holds the record for having the biggest eyes on Earth. At about 30 centimeters wide, its peepers are the size of dinner plates. Beasts of the deep, giant squid, live in the murky depths between 200 and 1,000 metres under the surface of the sea. The largest one ever measured was almost 16 metres long. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. The male Pacific black dragonfish never eats. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib? It's a fact! Did you get it right? Female black dragonfish are hunters and grow to 40 centimetres long. The males are much smaller and they cannot eat food. They have no teeth, no stomach and no digestive system. The males simply help the females to have babies and then they die. Super Sleuth. Female black dragonfish have a whisker-like lure on their lower jaw, which they can light up. 
Small animals try to eat the lure, but they end up getting eaten themselves. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. No human has ever made it to the deepest part of the ocean. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib? It's a fib. Did you get it right? The deepest part of the ocean is the Mariana Trench. In 1960, Jacques Picard and Don Walsh went there in a submarine called the Trieste. In 2012, James Cameron became the first person to go to the bottom of the trench on his own inside a vehicle called the Deep Sea Challenger. Super Sleuth The Mariana Trench is a little less than 11 kilometres deep. You could almost fit 34 Eiffel Towers into it, one on top of the other. Listen to this statement and tell me if it's a fact or a fib. Penguins are a polar bear's favourite food. Can you tell me if this is a fact or a fib? It's a fib. Did you get it right? Polar bears and penguins live at opposite ends of the planet and would never meet each other except perhaps in a zoo. Polar bears live in the Arctic at the top of the world where they mainly hunt seals. Penguins live in Antarctica and South America and in southern parts of South Africa and Australia. Your journey of discovery continues. Congratulations! You've taken your first dip into the oceans and you now know more than you did when you were standing on dry land. You've met some surprising fish, some animals living in unexpected places, and you've seen how dangerous predators can actually be good friends with gentler creatures. This book has also taken you to deeper depths, where very few people have been. Now turn to the next page, where one final test lies in wait for you. What and where? How well do you remember the creatures you met when you made your journey through the oceans? Here's a challenge to test you. Take a look at these pictures and see if you can answer the questions correctly. You'll get bonus points if you can remember an extra fact about each animal or place in the pictures. 1. What is this animal home called? Choose your answers from the options here. A. Arctic B. Coral Reef C. Shark D. Marine Iguana E. Mudskipper The answer is B. Coral Reef. Did you get it right? 2. Can you name this big lizard? Choose your answers from the options here. A. Arctic B. Coral Reef C. Shark D. Marine Iguana E. Mudskipper It's D. Marine Iguana Did you get it right? 3. What kind of fish is this? Choose your answers from the options here. A. Arctic B. Coral Reef C. Shark D. Marine Iguana E. Mudskipper It's E. Mudskipper Did you get it right? 4. Where does this animal live? Choose your answers from the options here. A. Arctic B. Coral Reef C. Shark D. Marine Iguana E. Mudskipper It's A. Arctic Did you get it right? 5. Which creature owns these teeth? Choose your answers from the options here. 
A. Arctic B. Coral Reef C. Shark D. Marine Iguana E. Mudskipper It's C. Shark Did you get it right? Well done, everybody. See you next time. Story B!